Hi everyone, welcome back to the Ox TV. It's been a couple of months since I've um, last posted. Um, life's just been really busy, but uh, just a little quick video today. Um, just been driving my T5 Volvo C30. Uh, I've had it for about 18 months now. Uh, I've done about 7,000 miles since uh, since I bought it, and yeah, it's about time I've, I sort it out. Really, as you can tell. It's overdue, so yeah. I'm just gonna do the oil filter today. Um, I would change the oil, but I I need some like a ramp so I can drive on to because the uh, my normal trolley jack unfortunately isn't low enough to go under the car. I haven't got any like chocks or wood or anything really, so you know I'm not really don't want to risk it. So um, yeah, I'm just gonna do the oil filter today. Uh, we'll give that a go. Um, it's a simple. Simple operation in it, really. Hopefully, so um, yeah, we'll crack on. Uh, we'll try to give it a go. So yeah, let's go and get that sorted. Yeah, so yeah, I've just uh, opened the bonnet. Uh, this is the air duct in that you need to take off to get access to the uh, filter, which is there. So it's just two eight mil bolt bolts to the side here. So I'll just quickly undo these. one second one I'm going to be here forever so I'll come back to you on this one right I finally got it off took fucking forever so this should it should be a three piece duct in that's the top piece The middle bit, and then there's the bottom bit that goes into the air box. So, there, so that's that bit, and then you've got access to your top nut for the housing. It's a 36 mil. I haven't got one, so I'm going to use the poor man's way. Um, it's a bit awkward getting in there so I might try and get round the alternator side first. I'll give it a go and we'll try that. So fingers crossed. <laughs> right, hi guys. It's been a couple of days since uh, it's been the last couple of seconds of that last video. Um, I had no luck at all with the bloody adjustable. You've got no room at all. <laughs> so um, I've just gone to Halfords, got an impact 36mm socket, and the only way I can get it to fit is right here's the Frankenstein. So I've got a the little spanner, it's adapted to the half to quarter inch to half inch to fit into there. So hopefully it should fit. So if I just put that in there. Oh yeah, ah oh, sand. Perfect. There we go. Oh, that should be loose now. Ugh. So that loose comes in there. Oh. Oh, so that's the filter, but that's the actual housing. I must have dropped the filter. Hang on. Ugh, I'm in. Yeah, I think it's had its day. The oil smells a little bit burnt, so a bit dark. 
So I think it's about time I do change the oil, I think. Um, it's quite a 530 um, fully synthetic oil. It's quite a f thin oil, really. Um, so, yeah, I do definitely need to change that, but that's definitely minging. So, this is what I need to use now. It's the MAN filter. That's what Volvo used from factory. They don't have genuine Volvo filters on this, so... Um, Tricky. Yep, so just put the right in, in there. Try to do this one hand, it's kind of tricky. Um, and there, and then you just change the ceiling ring around there where my thumb is, and then just pop it back in. Any time. Right. I'll just tidy this up and then do the rest. Right, so the house is now um, tightened up, so I just reverse order of putting everything back together. So, uh, what was first? Oh, it was. Oh, yeah. Bottom ducked in here. Tricky with one hand. That's all it. And then you want the middle bit. That's that. the bottom one and then uh, that wants to thread in all right so I'll just tighten these up and that's it so that's it just an oil change not an oil change an oil filter nice and simple uh, well it wasn't actually because I had to go fucking buy a uh, 36 mil socket so um yeah that's if, you, if you've got like a 2.5 t5 term petrol engine that's how you do a basic oil filter change um so yeah thank you for watching and like and subscribe there should be more little videos on this in the future goodbye